You can use many different kinds of containers. Um, one type would be a yogurt or sour, a plastic yogurt or sour cream container. You could also even use a can, such as an evaporated milk can where you had punched holes in the top. Pretty much any kind of enclosed container will work. So in this case, we're just using a yogurt container. I'm going to pour about an inch of oil in the bottom, and you can just use the most inexpensive oil that you have, vegetable oil. And the purpose of the oil is that when the earwigs crawl into this trap, they're going to fall down in there, and they're going to coat their bodies with the oil, and it's going to suffocate and kill them. Okay, we also need to add something that has a little bit more smell to it. Um, earwigs are attracted to very strong odors such as bacon grease, uh, tuna juice, cat food, or liquid, or moist cat food or dog food, the juice that comes off of that. Pretty much anything, kind of some waste out of your kitchen uh, cooking process you can use. So in this case I'm going to use tuna juice. That is one thing that we found that they're really attracted to. So when you drain that uh, water and oil or oil juice off of your tuna, you can just collect it and then you can add this in with the oil in your earwig trap. Okay, the next step is you need to make some holes in this trap so the earwigs can come in. And so I usually either use um, something, a sharp implement where you can poke holes or I like to use the soldering iron where you can just uh, poke some holes easily. They're not very large, so they can, the earwigs can easily uh, climb in. So I just make oh, five, six holes around the top, and then I'm going to make some additional holes um, right around the top of the sides. This will give plenty of uh, ports of entry for them to get into the trap. Many uh, garden um, plants, crops such as peppers, uh, eggplant, and many herbs are very susceptible to earwig feeding. And so a good place to, pl to put your tra earwig traps is to bury them in a garden spot where you have a lot of these susceptible um, crops. So all you need to do is just dig a hole. We want to bury our earwig trap down to where we put our holes on the side. Earwigs are nocturnal. That means they come out at night um, to feed and to crawl around. And so putting your trap out um, in the evening just before the earwigs are, are active is a good time and then they will climb in here and then the next morning you can check your trap and see how many earwigs you've caught. And if it's starting to get full, then you can uh, pull the trap up and, and dump it out and refill it with your oil and tuna juice bait and then put it back in place. Having a top on the trap is um, very convenient to help keep out um, cats or dogs or raccoons or other kinds of animals that might be attracted um, to the oil and uh, tuna juice bait. Another type of attractive trap for earwigs is something that gives them a hiding place during the day. So corrugated cardboard um, with these ridges is a great place for earwigs to climb down in and hide during the day. You roll these up and just use a rubber band or something to tie them off and they make a great little earwig hotel. So for fruit trees such as apricots and peaches where the fruit um, when it gets close to being ripe is very susceptible to earwig feeding, tying a few of these cardboard rolls onto a trunk of a fruit tree can make a great trap. So the earwigs come out at night to feed on the fruit and the leaves and the daytime they're hiding inside your cardboard rolls. And you can make up a number of these and just have them ready and then in the morning you can come by and collect when the earwigs have climbed back in after daylight you can come by and collect them and just throw them away and put new traps up in their place. And this is a way you can help keep the numbers down and the, and the earwigs from climbing up into the apricot tree um, right when it's getting close to the fruit being ripe. Another good way to keep earwigs out of uh, fruit trees or corn stalks or raspberry blackberry vines is to use a sticky trunk um, band. And so a simple way to do that is to use duct tape. Put that as a band around the base of the trunk. And then to use a sticky material 
that can be called insect trap coating or tangle foot or tangle trap. And there's a couple different ways that these products, uh, uh, the formulations that they come in. One is a very convenient aerosol spray can where you just apply the tangle foot through with the can. Another way is you can find it in tubs or it's like a gel formulation and you can just use an applicator stick and spread it around the, the tape. And the purpose of what you're doing here is to create this very sticky barrier that when the earwigs try to climb into the tree they encounter the tangle trap and they get stuck or, or it repels them and they do not make their way up into the tree. Uh, tangle foot, tangle trap can be purchased from garden, uh, garden supply centers that cater to uh, the more sophisticated gardener or they can be purchased from online supply stores. The timing for um, earwig trapping, there's two main time periods. One is in the late spring, early summer when the overwintering um, adults are, are active. They've come out of their overwintering uh, hiding sites and at this time they're mating and breeding and laying eggs. And so trapping the adults in these traps at that time is a good way to really help lower the population early in the season. The other key time would be later in the summer when you really start to notice earwig feeding injury on the plants in your garden or before you need to protect um, your apricot and peach fruits from fruit injury or your raspberries or blackberries. Those would be the two key times for putting out these cardboard traps.